I know, I know, mate. I don't know how Andy sees. Yeah, that's it. Day on ASA, which was using a lot of the track, um, ace track, like something I don't think I've ever seen a track this long in the UK. Like, I think yesterday was 14 something mile, today is about 60. Um, yeah, something massive, like 30 odd, 40 minute lap, and um, weird grind, like chewing gum like saps all the power out of the bikes and stuff but <coughs> um, yeah some spot like you can't believe it when you're going around and you think oh I'm only about halfway yet um, so we did that play day yesterday just had to play with the bike styled them in and stuff best we can um, and then yeah three hour race today so yeah. I'm looking forward to it I've not done feels like years ago since I've done a three hour race it's not I did some at home last year or yeah last Easter actually a year ago at Easter there was one at home, a really good one. Yeah. But that was like longest you'd ever get in Isle of Man, like 13, 14 minute lap for me. Uh, this is double, yeah. more than double this lap. So yeah, it's pretty impressive. So how's the new bike as well? It feels good. Like it's weird around here because I first went out on it yesterday and I thought like it had no bottom end in it, and I was like, oh. So then I got the TPI out, which I know really well, and I've ridden loads and I've done well on it. Um, and it swings and roundabouts, it felt better in places, worse than others, but um, my lap was way quicker on the new bike, um, which was strange because normally if your bike feels that, I think, I think this thing's going that well on the fast stuff. It's pulling more time than the other bike and the tight stuff it doesn't feel as powerful but i think because it's got that much power it's still got the same power as what that has down low yeah. even though it feels less so yeah just one of them it was it was weird but it was good to get some laps in might change the gear in yet just i might just change the tooth but i'm not sure if it'll make it worse or better it's a bit of a i don't want to ride something that geez <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to spend three hours riding something that I haven't tried. That I think after about five corners, you think I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Um, but I'll have a think. I'll see how much time I get to mess around. Yeah. I'll get me goggles and all that stuff done now, and get me fuel and that mixed, mixing fuel again. Um, and yeah, have a good run around really, and, and see what happens. If it stays like this, if it don't rain today, I think the track will come to really well again. Yeah. Um, so, looking forward to it, should be right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what's the hat though? Oh, no, it's got a little bit of a hat. Hey, you! Oh, I don't know you want to warm one. Adam, throw that one away. 
Tommy Sanders. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Problems and problems are solving my run through the money, depression be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Don't have depression, it's all that I wanted to go in the face. I'm something in love because I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems are solving my run through the money, depression be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. It's all that I wanted A bow in affection I summon it dub it
Yeah, yeah so we've, we've just finished the race, literally got flat out changed. Sort of. In the van and, and scooted off because we've got ferries to catch in like two and a half hours and we've got a two hour drive. <laughs> this is normal. It's normal for Benilla Man. Um, otherwise, we've got to wait until quarter past two in the morning to get on the one that takes for been four hours and then you just wrecks it for like three days, so you better rush and get on this one. Race, um, shame about the, that weather because the track was, got really good yesterday. Um, first lap, got the whole shot, um, and then got my head down. Had it, I knew in that field I had a good, I had a good minute already when I got to there, um, and I thought like the aim was to have a good couple of minute lead on the first lap. I think I. would Something like that, a bit more maybe. Um, second lap, some of the track was better, some of it was horrendous. Um, the same, there was a bit in the, like an orchard that was horrendously fucking, um, like dead heavy going and all the bikes were boiling there. So, but some of them got better then, stop for the pits, lap three. I thought the bike isn't even going to do another lap because it was that hot, boiling, coolant coming out of it. Um, pit stop was, was fine. Um, and I thought they would cut it. I thought it was going to cut a lap off it because I, I don't think I've ever seen so many bikes boiling, coolant coming out of them and blowing up at the side of a track in, in any event ever. It, honestly, it was fucking... And I thought mine was going to go at any time. It, like, it went really tight like it was seasoned. Um, I just had to like cruise around on it, so it was just, it ended up a race of survival. You just had to literally short shift it, not rev it, ride around, probably 10 minutes a lap slower than I normally was in the first two laps and uh, and get it to the finish and that's what I did. So <clears throat> wasn't that enjoyable because you, you're not, you're not racing. You're just like riding around trying to get to the checkered flag, which yeah, that's in the aim of the game as well. But. If it was like it was yesterday, it would have been freaking ace. Because the grind of place is like one of the, one of the only places in the country I've ever ridden that's like that, that size, like a 30, 40 minute lap. Um, so yeah, second race of the day now to the boat, so see if we make that one. Right, so here we are back in the workshop. Um, we've got back from Wales, or near Wales, wherever we were. Um, doing the race on this. Um, real happy with how everything's gone with this bike. You know, we've done mods to it. We've spent a lot of time setting the chassis up suspension, um, which was the main goal with the bike, really. Um, you know, anyone that knows me knows I love a PDS chassis, your, your no linkage KTMs. Um, that's what I raced for years and I, I've always really got on with that type of chassis. I didn't particularly like the old linkage KTMs like from, the last five years, um, didn't really get on with them. Um, so this was sort of, this was almost scary for me to to get and to try and dial in because I know, you know, with the other bike, I really struggled to get it exactly how I wanted. So it's been a pleasure really getting it how I've really wanted with the K-Tech guys. And it's always, again, nerve wracking, you know, doing a race on a, on a new bike or different bike um, that you've not raced before, you know, and we went straight into the deep end. Um, tough, tough, tough race, really muddy um, and zero issues, you know. At one point I thought, things on a melt because honestly there were so many bikes melted at the side of the track and uh, it was hot and you can smell coolant everywhere and not necessarily your own coolant, like this lost a little bit, but that's a testament to you know, putting decent hoses on it, Samco hoses, putting a fan on, um, and being smart as well when you're racing, you know, not revving, not revving the nuts out of it. And even though it was really deep mud and, and claggy, it was, it's better to rev the bike hard and burn your way through a lot of it, but you've got to use your head a little bit. So no, <clears throat> made up with, with the bike and um, we'll get this bike shifted on now. Um, and, find another project to do you know um find another another bike a build whatever just just try and uh keep the ball rolling with it and and do some exciting stuff 
Um, so drop us a message on on YouTube and, and let us know what you guys would want want me to see um, or want want to see me do because you know I'm quite uh, open to to all different options really. Um, so yeah, let us know what you want to see from me and and I'll try my best to do it.